Hey everybody, uh, it is, what is it? It's on the weekend, whatever, I don't know what the date is, October something. I always say I usually plant my garlic on Columbus Day, but we're four or five days, I think, after Columbus Day. Uh, so I never get a chance to plant my garlic yet. So it's garlic planting time. Now, I already put a video up of uh, on planting garlic, but I, uh, my sister is starting to plant some bulbs. So she thought she'd like to have a little more in-depth uh, uh, video on planting garlic. So what I'd like to do first, I'd like to show this here's what we start with. This is our bulb. So if you've got a bulb and you want to separate it into cloves, all I do is the outside is quite papery. I break it down and I tear the cloves off. And there's four cloves in this one. And you'll see there's a, there's a center stalk that's left. You don't need that. Throw that away, and there is your cloves plant. Now, when I first started it, I planted, I think, 25 uh, cloves. And then in this next year, I think I planted 80. Uh, this year, I harvested 160. And in my basket here, I have counted out 200 this year. I think 200 is probably going to do me. Uh, you have to save enough for planting the next year so that takes probably 25 percent of what you harvest and then the rest has been given away to to friends and family and and like sis who's starting to plant some of her own so I have 200 in here planting now if you're planting garlic all you have to do is think tulip bulbs uh, you plant them just like a tulip bulb this here's the butt end and that's the top so it's going to be sitting in the ground in this angle pointy side up, root side down. Now all I do, this here's a new piece of garden and I think I'm going to be able to get 200 bulbs in this piece. But I just take, take a hoe and I make a little row. That row, that row is probably no more than, if you see there, probably three inches deep. Uh, some people have a fancy tool they call a dibbler in Nova Scotia, here's our fancy tool. It's called a stick. Uh, I take a stick, I make the row. I take a stick, I make a bit of a hole in there for my bulb. Bring the basket over a little closer. I take the bulb, I shove it in the hole. And that's all I do. And then you're going to cover that and that'll be down so the bottom of the bulb will probably be about four inches uh, the top of the bulb about three inches under the ground and I'm going to end up planting the rest of this row so that's all I'll do is I'll dig a hole probably about three inches deep I'll make a hole I stick the bulb in now when I'm planting these I like to plant these at about ten inches apart now I don't measure them uh, my hand span there is about nine inches so what I'll do is I'll plant a bulb, measure, stick the next one in, plant a bulb, measure, stick the next one in, and then have the rows about a foot apart. So I'll have probably a row here, uh, maybe 12, 14 inches apart for the rows. I'll have to sit down, I'll make the rows in this piece, and I'll figure out how many bulbs are going to be in a row, and how ever tight i got to put them to get 200 bulbs in this piece. Now this is a new piece of land that I never planted before. I have a shed that's right here that was sitting here in this spot that I moved up the hill. So I took this piece of ground. There were two compost bins here that I tore down and a shed. And then I made this piece up so I'm going to cover 200 bulbs in here. Uh, after it's planted you should cover it in straw. We live on a hill that's bare and open and quite windy. So what I do is I wait till it's going to rain or it's going to snow and then I'll cover the piece in the straw in either the rain or the snow and the rain and the snow helps pat it down because if I put it in here dry and loose and it gets windy tomorrow it'll take off down the road that way and all my straw will be gone and that's a simple thing I'm planting bulbs so corny all I can tell you is take the bulbs stick them in the ground and get her done